Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today we are doing lineup update number 5 before we hop into it. Today EA did drop some new cards and also did preview some content that's coming out tomorrow. Um, we have the 95 Pat P, the 95 Kyler Murray, 95 Chandler Jones, and the 95 Larry Fitzgerald all in the game right now. And all you need to do, if you didn't do the solos, there were solos to get these cards for free. Um, I think it was only one of the cards and, and, and you have the choice, but I believe all these cards have training bypasses. So if you're interested in any of these cards, um, they do have training bypasses. And we also do have the two limited edition cards that dropped today. And that is 96 Jerome Baker. It looks pretty solid, has good speed. Definitely one of the better middle linebackers in the game right now. And we also do have the 96 Austin Eckler. I'm telling you right now, unless you have a Chargers theme team, there is no reason to get Austin Eckler. This card's literally just a worse version of Alvin Kamara. Um, there's no excuse why you should be spending a million coins for this Austin Eckler card. I mean, he's definitely good. Definitely one of the better running backs in the game. But for a million coins, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to go and get Austin Eckler. And the uh, yeah, the two cards that, that they preview that are dropping tomorrow is a 93 Teron Johnson after his pick six. And also a Miles Jack card. So I didn't think EA was going to drop cards for non-playoff teams. But um, yeah, here it is. We have a Jaguars card coming out tomorrow right outside linebacker. Definitely interesting. I mean, the card doesn't look bad for a coverage linebacker. Can't really rush the passer that well, but probably pretty good in coverage, I'd imagine. But um, yeah, a Jaguars card for the playoff promo tomorrow. Who would have thought? And also, uh, I believe two more 95s and a Legend card as well tomorrow. So um, still a lot of cards to come. But uh, yeah, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. So the subscribe button, turn notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also do not forget to hit that like button. Also leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. And of course, shout out to my man TLC for commenting the emoji on last video. All right, so let's just get started here with the lineup update. And around two months ago is when we posted the last lineup update here on the channel. So um, over that two month span, I was rocking with the football team and a Pats theme team. So 25 football team, 25 Pats. And um, they were solid definitely to start. I was definitely happy with the team, but I felt like over the last couple of weeks, they were starting to feel very outdated. Like Revis, honestly too slow at this point. Hopefully Revis does get an upgrade because he still would fit on my team. But um, yeah, I feel like a lot of the players that were once very, very good on this team were starting to get a little bit outdated. So over the last few days or probably over the last week, I was searching for a new theme team. But when I initially started looking for a theme team to replace the Pats, I was looking for a theme team that had a very good wide receiver core. So um, the uh, two teams that I kind of came down to were the Vikings and the Bills. Um, but I didn't switch. I held off and I'm happy I did because since then, EA added two of the best wide receivers in the game to the football team, which is the Sean Jackson and Santana Moss. Um, the, I, there was basically no signs of those, any of those cards getting added into the game, just out of the blue. Bang, Santana Moss, and Deshaun Jackson. And I'm very happy that I didn't make that switch too early, but I have now made the switch and the decision to go with the Chiefs. And before, you know, the football team got those receivers, the Chiefs weren't even in the running. But since then, the Chiefs definitely became intriguing. You know, they got Marcus Peters, Legereus Sneed, Jamal Charles, and also potential for a Super Bowl and more playoff cards as well. So that's why I went Chiefs, if anyone was wondering. But yeah, here is the team. And, um, you know, top right into it, we're going to start off here with the offense. All right, so here is the team. I'll go ahead and hide the face cam for you guys so you guys can see the whole roster. And um, yeah, up front, uh, we got Joe Thomas, John Hanna, Jason Kelsey, Zach Martin, and Mitchell Schwartz. And uh, obviously, our backups are a whole bunch of Chiefs. Um, if we head over to the Chems, I'll show you guys the Chems real quick. We have 29 Chiefs and 28 football team. But yeah, pretty complete roster. I mean, we have Santana Moss. You guys know the Santana Moss' stats. 99 speed, 99 acceleration, I believe. Yeah, and just the slot archetype, slot o -matic, 2 AP. Um, this card is crazy, by the way. The separation that Santana Moss gets. Um, definitely one of the best wide receivers I've used so far this year. And yeah, he's he's basically endgame. He's, this card's basically endgame. And over here, we have the Sean Jackson. Um, limited time, one of the most expensive cards in the game. But definitely worth it, in my opinion. We have Route Tech on him. Um, 99 speed, 97 acceleration. The separation that he gets as well is absolutely insane. But um, I love this D-Jax card. I love this card after the catch. Also pretty solid, too. So um, those, are our, those are our wide receivers. And uh, for some reason... It, my game froze or it's lagging or something like that but yeah in the slot we have Tyreek Hill here um Tyreek Hill will probably get an upgrade before this th before the year ends 100 but already an amazing card 98 speed on the theme team uh good jumping obviously it's Tyreek Hill he's good after the catch as well so um Tyreek being a third option I mean I'm not complaining 
And yeah, the Chiefs, this is their only good wide receiver besides, I guess, Dante Hall, you would say. But I mean, Dante Hall could also get an upgrade as well. Um, how good will he be? Probably not that great. But I mean, on the theme team, I'll probably still end up running him. Um, probably will have 99 speed, probably 99, you know, juke, 99 spin, stuff like that. Um, Dante Hall being one of the best kick, kick returners of all time. Um, but also, the, the one downfall with Dante Hall is that he's a returner archetype. Um, so even the potential Dante Hall upgrade probably won't be that great. Um, 85 catching, can't really catch in traffic that well. But the speed, um, the route running also, again, yeah, not really there either. Um, but yeah, 5'8", probably not. Yeah, 90, nasty after the catch. Already hits both thresholds and has great COD on his um, on his card that came out at launch. So um, Dante Hall upgrade could be good. We're going to have to see what it looks like. But um, definitely some potential here. And at QB, obviously, we have Patrick Mahomes. Uh, Mahomes, you guys know him. Um, probably, in my opinion, probably the second best QB in the game right now. I would probably put Josh Allen above him, but Mahomes' release, um, his speed feels good, the throw power, his accuracy is just amazing. Um, and he's Patrick Mahomes. The card just plays above his overall, even though he's a 97. And at back, we've Donovan McNabb. And at running back, I love my running back core, by the way. Um, we have the power guy, Sean Alexander, who can kind of do both. I mean, Sean's just amazing. 98 speed on the theme team, the CODs, they have the brake tackle, the trucking, the carrying. John Alexander, probably one of my favorite running backs in the game right now, without question. Um, but yeah, my backup, I might like him a little bit more, and that is Jamal Charles. Um, one of my favorite running backs of all time growing up. So I kind of had to, you know, build a theme team for Jamal Charles. 98 speed, 99 acceleration. Has the money, Juke movie, we have Jukebox on him. Uh, this car just plays so good. Definitely probably a top three, top four running back in the game right now. I'm even not on a theme team. This card plays absolutely ridiculous. And we also have what is probably one of my favorite parts of this team. And that is my tight end group. So not only are they really good right now, they also have great potential and they're not even at their full potential right now. Um, Tony Gonzalez is not on this team. Um, he probably should be, but I feel like I don't need him right now. And I think I'd rather have that one AP tight end apprentice because I need tight end apprentice. And on, on Tony G, it is two AP. And on Chris Cooley, it is only one AP. So I'm rocking with Chris Cooley right now. But Travis Kelsey, also great potential. Most likely going to be team of the year is my prediction. So um, Kelsey team of the year, also Logan Thomas. He's good right now, but Vernon Davis is a card that has a 50 card and will probably get either a legend or, or an ultimate legend card at some point. So Vernon Davis's next card might end up being one of the best tight ends in the game as far as run blocking and speed goes. So definitely be on the lookout for that, uh, for that Vernon Davis card at some point. He's not pictured, but... I'm definitely a guy I always have my eye on. And for the abilities on offense, we're rocking slot matic on Santana Moss. We got Bulldozer on Sean Alexander, Jukebox on Jamal Charles. We have Gunslinger, 3 AP on Patty Mahomes. And we have Route Tech on Deshaun Jackson. We have Identifier on my center. And like I said, Tight End Apprentice on my tight end. And I feel like this probably fits my scheme the best. Um, I just started rocking Identifier. I was testing it out yesterday and today a little bit. And I really liked it, man. Identifier definitely has helped out a whole lot, but... Um, yeah, and also I've kind of been running this like two-headed running back scheme. Um, I run, I've started to run the ball a whole lot more than I what I used to, or you know, feed my running backs. I realized how valuable that actually is. So, um, you know, once one, I usually do use Sean Alexander first. Once he does get tired, I will put in Jamal Charles, and I mean the offense never slows down. So I love having these two running backs um, at my disposal. So I mean that is the offense though. That is the offense. You guys might be seeing a whole lot of other abilities, but they're not activated like Edge Threat on Joe Thomas and Puller on John Hanna, but. Um, they are all there but yeah let's head over to the defense and defense is probably one of my favorite parts of this whole team this defense is absolutely stacked um starting at free safety we have sean taylor and you guys know how sean t plays in mutt this card is just ridiculous 97 speed 97 acceleration 6-2 um we have mid zone ko on him by the way which i realize is one of the most broken abilities in the game uh, if you have any kind of zone archetype player just put mid zone ko on them i learned on stream the other day how broken this ability is Definitely one of the best abilities in the game. For some reason, I think it's glitched, honestly. It literally lights up all over the field for no reason. So definitely try mid-zone KO. But um, yeah, Sean Taylor, absolutely amazing, man. As far as being a run stopper, just always being around the ball, Sean Taylor is one of the best in the game. And um, yeah, at backup, we do have Kendall Fuller. Can be either a Chief or a football team. Uh, I, I have him on the football team right now because it doesn't really matter. We have a whole bunch of extra cams, but I'm um, kind of flexible there, which is kind of nice. And, and Kendall Fuller is still a pretty solid card. I'm um, starting to phase out a little bit. Hopefully his upgrade is on the way soon. But at right outside linebacker, we have out of position, Jamal Adams. One of my favorite cards in the game, um, just because of the positions that he can play. Um, what I've been doing recently, I've been having him almost play like my right end or my outside pass rusher. And when a quarterback does roll right, he does actually get off the block pretty easily and get to the quarterback, which, which I absolutely love when he's not in pass coverage. But 
I do love putting Jamal in pass coverage. So it has 94 speed, good acceleration, which, which isn't great. But for a right outside linebacker, it's honestly amazing. And his coverage stats are the main reason why I love this guy so much. Um, 97 man coverage and 99 zone. So very, very reliable. Um, does still have the linebacker animations, but for a linebacker, this is probably the best you're going to get as far as, you know, coverage and speed and the ability to stop the run. So I love this Jamal Adams card a whole lot. Um, we have been running Enforcer on him. I, I did just take it off, but Enforcer, pretty good ability. And by the way, it is only one AP on Jamal Adams. And middle linebacker doesn't really matter that much. I don't use a middle linebacker anyway, but here's what we got um, as far as chems go. Um, KC, chems on Sam Mills, London Fletcher, three times Washington, Hitchens, KC, and Kevin Pierre Luis or Lewis um, with that Washington chem on him. But another one of my favorite players on this team is LeVar Arrington. Uh, this card is just amazing. I mean, 94 speed. Um, 99 play reg, 92 block shed, 93 power moves, um, 86 finesse moves. He's my go-to pass rusher. This guy is always getting to the QB, 94 impact block right against the run. Um, I love this LeVar card. Yeah, 93 hit power. Can't really play any coverage, but as far as being like an edge pass rusher, LeVar is one of the best in the game. And on this theme team, man, 94 speed is just glitchy. And next up, we have the strong safeties. And my strong safety group is definitely one of the strongest on the team. And we got Landon Collins leading the group. Um, this card on this theme team, just absolutely ridiculous. Always around the ball. And by the way, mid zone KO on him as well. Um, 97 speed, 99 acceleration, 98 tackling, 99 play rack, 97 pursuit, uh, 97 hit power. He's six foot, animates like crazy. Landon Collins is simply one of the best cards in this game right now. Um, definitely one of the better safeties in the game as well. I mean, Landon Collins is just absolutely ridiculous. I'm um, not on a theme team. He probably still balls out. But on this Washington football team theme team, this guy's just an absolute freak. And at backup, we have Tyran Matthew. And I mean, this card isn't really a backup because he's on the field every single play. But um, yeah, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 play rec, 96 speed. So I'm not going to lie. I mean, this card is a little bit underwhelming on a theme team. But what I've been doing with Tyran Matthew is I've been using with him. So yes, I know he's 5'9", but I feel like on current gen, I can't speak for next gen, but on current gen... It might just be in my head. I'm not really too sure what it is, but I feel like the player that you're using does just move faster. So I've been using him with Tyran Matthew. I've had no complaints. I've had many multiple interception games with this guy. Um, He plays great as a user, but um, yeah, in coverage, I mean, he still plays great in coverage. I'm not going to lie. The card still plays really good, but I'm telling you right now, the card does play better as a user. So yes, definitely underwhelming as far as like the stats go, but the card still plays fine for me. And the card still makes plays. And at cornerback, I'm not going to really get into it too much, but you guys see it. Um, Deion Sanders, Troy Vincent, and Marcus Peters. And I mean, these three corners together, I have one step on Marcus Peters and I have one step on Deion Sanders and we're rocking with mid zone KO on Troy Vincent. And I'm telling you right now, it's very hard to pass on me unless I'm facing a very, very advanced player. Um, I mean, look at Marcus Peters stats, for example. This guy is just, it's just dumb why we have an end game Marcus Peters in January. 99 speed, 99 play rank, 99 man, 96 zone, 94 press, he's six foot. I mean, this card is just amazing. I, I just cannot believe we have a card like this. Um, and by the way, I could have Legereus Sneed. I'm probably going to end up going to get Legereus um, once Troy Vincent does start to phase out. So I know there's going to be comments. Where's Legereus? Where's Legereus? I'm going to get him. I'm just waiting for Troy Vincent to phase out because right now I feel like there's honestly no reason to go get Legereus because yes, he's amazing. But I mean, Dion and Marcus Peters play just fine and Legereus is going for around a million coins right now. So that's why the that's why that's why I don't have Legereus on the team right now for people who are wondering. But um, yeah, also Darrell Rivas, big potential for him to get an upgrade. And uh, we also have DRC down here as well. And up front, we have Ryan Kerrigan, Leroy Glover, Albert Hainsworth, Chase Young. Um, the only guy that sees the field is Albert Hainsworth um, because I have inside stuff on him for 2 AP. I would use Leroy Glover, but inside stuff on him is 3 AP, unfortunately. But yeah, that is the defense. And um, yeah, it is absolutely stacked, like I said. But if we head over to the specialist, there is still one more man that is definitely probably one of the best players on this team. I mean, you guys can see the special teams right there if you guys care about that. Um, we do have Martinas Rankin, Matt Long Snapper, the absolute legend himself. But at specialist, we do have Isaiah Simmons. I did I did go out and I bought Isaiah Simmons. Um, the best safety in the game right now, in my opinion. Um, 6'4, 97 speed, acceleration, tackling, coverage. This guy can do it all. Um, 500 k right now. Is it worth it? Honestly, probably yes. I mean, the guy that can stop the run like this, make plays in coverage, B64. Isaiah Simmons is absolutely ridiculous. So I do also have him on my defense. And yes, he is on the field every single play. Um, I do use, what do I use? Five safeties, I guess, every single snap. Five safeties, three corners on my defense. So yeah, that is what we're rocking with. 
And probably the most commonly asked question on all these videos is what playbook do you run? And uh, I run Saints playbook on offense and I run 4-6 on defense. So um, those are my two playbooks and we have Coach John Madden. Um, Coach Madden is not as good as it was last year. It's probably not going to be worth it, but I'm hoping that it is. Um, I might end up stop wasting my trophies on John Madden because it's not really paying off. You don't really don't need him at all this year. But um, yeah, we do have John Madden as our head coach. Um, and by the way, um, you can put, you know, the jerseys and the uh, stadium as well as the coach as well to help boost your cams if you are going for a theme team, by the way. So um, just keep that in mind as well. But yeah, for team visuals, we're rocking. I mean, this doesn't really matter at all, but we have Washington and Chiefs unis. But um, yeah, I don't think I missed anything. I believe we went over the abilities on offense and defense. I went over all the players. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this theme team turned out. And there's there's Emmett right there. Let's hide him right there. That might, that might be Emmett's first... Uh, first time on the youtube channel to be honest but um yeah i'm pretty happy with how the team looks uh it was probably a weird video not seeing me in the corner and i'm guessing that the 239 was probably on the video the whole time so if, if that was bothering you i apologize i just noticed that now but uh yeah if you are still watching let's comment the frog emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video and if you are new here hit that subscribe button turn notifications we post daily Madden 21 content. And by the way, if you guys are interested in any kind of giveaways, my sponsor, MOEXP, is always doing giveaways over on Twitter. And I will pin a comment down in the comment section. So definitely go check them out over on Twitter if you do want a chance to win a giveaway. And uh, yeah, as always, I will see you boys in the next one.